Hey guys, Jigo Memes Chris here. Second time making my video because the first time it came out stupid. Anyway, I just want to like make a random video because I'm bored, you know, about the shout outs and other things I want to talk about really fast. I think this video short. So first of all, you know, I lost my binder at regionals last time, so I just want to tell you what I've gotten within the week. If you guys ever want any of this crap, Ultra Geartron Dragon. I have a Super Judgment. I also have an Ultra that I main deck, which I'm willing to sell, so if you need that, just let me know. This is a Super Heavy. That's pretty cool. Um, common, common. <laughs> I have a BLS. You guys need that BLS. You know you need the BLS. And an ulti brow. That's pretty cool. I got the ulti brow from a friend because he had he. I went to his house and he's like, "Hey, look at these old cards. Look to the look to his old deck. Ulti brow." I was like, "I I need this. I fucking need this." <laughs> so that's that. Um, now I want to get to the shoutouts. So um, yeah. So first shoutout goes to. David Burr he says shout out to PK whatever that is shout out to PK you get a shout out Mr. PK um Himura Kenshin you get a shout out too what's up dog Joel Sick Perez saying yo what's up dude how you doing um it was first five yeah first five and Adam Kinishki Kin Adam I feel so bad for you being in kindergarten having to spell that name Oh, well, shout out to you, and Jared Paskoff, shout out to you. And I might as well give a shout out to the three people who decided to like this. I'm just give a shout out to them. You guys are nice and to like it. Willie Giambalvo, again, that guy, Joel, and Ashley Smith. Hello, Ashley Smith, isn't that a girl's name? Isn't that a guy's sister and a girl's name? That's Buzz Lightyear. Well, okay, anyway, let me um close that and get to the questions, because I want to see what you guys had to ask me. I have not read these questions. Uh, let's see what you, let's see how stupid you guys are. Oh, I'm kidding. I love you guys, but I want to see what you guys would ask. Okay. What do you think of this? Wait. What do you think of the format so far? And do you like boobs? Well, so far this format, I like it way better than last format because last format is when I first started playing, and coming into the format with like, um, rescue with Dino Rabbit. The wind up and in sectors, it was really annoying and hard to play when the whole game was based off of money and loops. So it was kind of ridiculous. But I still like the game. I don't know why I stayed in the game. But anyway, I still like the game. Also, this format I think takes a lot more skill. Yeah, you know the, the decks still revolve around like sacking a lot, and the money is still kind of an issue. But Konami is apparently changing that with the new tins. But whatever, I'll explain that later. Um, but I like this format way better than last format, and you know, my watch are doing pretty good, and I made the deck myself, so, I like the format. Oh, uh, let's see. Why do you love cock? Why do you have to ask about cock? Why are you gay enough to ask about cock? Why is cock on your mind? It's just... I don't love cock, actually. I'm just talking about cock all the time. Weirdo. <laughs> okay, third question. What do you think about goat control? I wasn't around the format for Goat Control, actually, since I just started playing, so I don't know anything about Goat Control. I've heard about it, and I've heard that it's a good deck. i heard that it was a broken deck. My friend Trayvon told me he topped with the deck, but I really don't know anything about it. Um, it was probably It's probably like the wind-ups of that time. If it was, then, you know, every deck takes skill. Just <laughs> It's just one of those decks. What's better, Yu-Gi-Oh! or Jugs? Um, honestly, I would have to go with Yu-Gi-Oh! because it's legal. That's the probably the only reason. I I don't do drugs honestly. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't do drugs. Like I, I I I'll be honest with you. I have had my share of fun. I go to parties and stuff. So I, I'll just leave it as vague as that. So yeah, but I would never be be on anything while playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I'd be too scared and too weirded out. Too many. Oh my god, I don't even think about it. Okay, that's the fourth, fifth question. Why is Chronomaly OTK so easy? Well, I think it's so easy because you special summon a lot from your hand, and it's if you get the right cards, it's pretty easy to get off. Um, but the reason I don't like the Chronomaly deck is because it can be inconsistent. I wouldn't run it personally, but... Mm. Um, drugs don't have reprints. That's not a question. No, I think it's not about the other guy. Do you like old school dragons? No, because they... Well, depends what you mean on old school. Like old school with like totem dragon and stuff like that, that was pretty cool. But, like, if you're talking about old school, like, Kaiba dragons, then you're just being weird. But, eh, dragons, I was never a big fan of dragons. Chaos dragons are fun to play, but only because of Lila and Raikou. That's the only reason I love playing it. But other than that, I never like dragons. Okay, sixth question, I think. What's better, Sams or Sabres, and should they make more Sabres? Um, personally, this format, I think Sabres are a little better. 
Um, Sams are actually pretty good, but I prefer Sabres over Sams because Sabres are a little more technical because Sams are kind of obvious what you need to do to get around it. Um, if you tied in Prohibition, you call Kagamusha, that deck is kind of dead. But in Sex Sabres, uh, Sex <laughs> X Sabres, uh, I just like X Sabres a lot more because of their plays, because there's a lot more to synchro into, there's a lot more to do. I just like it. Um, and Hanley's a really good card and stuff like that. I, I prefer Sabres this format. And then, I don't think they should make more Sabres. Sabres were already a super expensive deck at one point. I remember that because my cousin, I just remember that my cousin's friend used to play Sabres when they were super expensive. They've already had their their time in, in the stars and everything. They're, they're done. They ever stopped doing Yu-Gi-Oh related stuff? I actually don't do Yu-Gi-Oh related stuff often. Um, I try to do Yu-Gi-Oh related stuff whenever I'm bored or whenever I can. Actually, like my schedule goes school, gym, then Tuesday school, gym, then repeat up until Thursday. And then Friday, I go out with my friends. Saturday, I go out with my friends. And Sundays, when I'm when I'm when I'm good enough to when I feel like going, I go to my locals and play. I, I honestly rarely go. Like <laughs> I'm not I'm not into ego that much. Like I'm into it because it's a good pastime, but I'm not obsessed with it. I just happen to be good at it. And yeah, I, I think I'm okay at the game. I think I'm better than most people because I'm pretty smart. I'm not trying to be cocky, but like I think I'm okay. Moose stuff? Question mark. That's not a question. I'm gonna skip that one. What will you? What will it take for you to stop making terrible memes? What will it take for you to stop asking those questions? Just if you don't like the meme, just unlike the page. And honestly, these memes aren't terrible. Cause if they are terrible, would they have 156 likes within within like a couple like within a half an hour or 100 likes within how long was this posted? 50 minutes ago. Eh, it's, we got 4,000 likes. We, we're almost at 5,000 likes, and it's only been a little over a month. I like to see you try and do that, Mr. Brandon Toolbox. Look at how a million is Toolbox. Are you retarded? I'm sorry for insulting you, but you look chubby. You think you're a fat kid. <laughs> anyway, how do you make your memes? Um, well, what I do to make the memes is, like, on this website right here, um, I usually just save the image, and then I save the image to my computer, and I go to this website. It's called wigflip.com slash rafflebot. And you upload the image, and then you just type in a text, and you drag and drop onto the, onto the picture. And then you resave the image when it's done. That's all I really do to make memes. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. Um, why is Rockstun so bad, and why would someone use it? Um, I think Rockstun is actually pretty good. When I went to regionals, there was a Rockstun deck who was X1 with me, and I played him, and I beat him. But the only thing about that deck is that you always have to have a monster in your hand, and once you don't, then you get then you gonna you kind of get fucked over. I hit him with Spirit Reaper a few times, and he was dead because I I got rid of his monster. He couldn't do anything. Um. But Rockstone is a pretty good deck. Um, you shouldn't. You should try it. I was actually talking to my friend Omar, and he wants to make a Rockstone deck with Dinos and Orichalcos. It could work, but yeah, I use it. Not a bad deck. Oh, well, that's the video. Um, thank you guys for asking stupid questions, smart questions. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. So this is me. I'm not obsessed with Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know. I don't know if people keep thinking I am. It's fucking ridiculous. It's a card game. I really don't care. I got my binder stolen. Whatever. So, see, I really don't care. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Yada, yada, yada. Subscribe, like the page, blah, blah, blah. I really don't care what you do. Um, see ya.